Hi everyone, so I'm here today with Joel Fernandez. Um, as you might know from a previous video we did, he is a really good trader and one of the leaders at MBA Trading Academy. So we just wanted to talk to you today about how to make money when the market is crashing because as we all know the market is pretty bearish right now and people who are hodling will be just holding on to losing positions and losing money. But as traders we know how to short the market and how to make money when the market is going down and to, how to be profitable um, all the time. So we're going to go through that with you today. So Joel, do you just want to firstly explain what um, shorting the market is and how you can do that with leverage trading? Yeah, sure. So the first thing I'm going to explain is the difference between spot trading and leverage trading. Now, when you're spot trading and you invest a thousand dollars and say price goes up to two thousand dollars, you've made one thousand dollars in profits, right? So that's your one thousand dollars. Now, when you're leverage trading, um, you're using less of your account. So say you invest $100 and you 10x that on leverage, you are uh, opening a position of $1,000. Price goes up to $2,000 and your profits is still $1,000, right? So now with leverage, it doesn't mean that because you're using leverage, you get to invest more money um, because there's a higher risk that you can lose whatever you've invested. So with leverage, it's not really about um, putting in more, making more. It's more about risking less, using leverage to have a bigger position and just having safer trades. Now, that's how you uh, that's how you long the market. But when you're shorting the market, you're pretty much borrowing the asset from the exchange. So say you, were, you borrow one Bitcoin and you sell that Bitcoin for $1,000. Now you are holding $1,000 and price goes down to $500, you buy two Bitcoins, you give to give one back to the exchange and one of them is your profits. Um, so that's pretty much how shorting the market works. Say um, say you, you buy a car for 10 grand, the, the car goes up in value to 20 grand, you sell that car, 10 grand is your profits, right? When you're shorting the market, you're borrowing the car from the bank, um, at let's say ten thousand dollars, right? You sell the car for ten thousand dollars. You have ten thousand dollars in your account. Price goes down to five thousand um, dollars. You buy the car back for those five thousand dollars. You give it back to the bank, and that the remaining is yours, your profits. So, do you just want to show us an example of what a short trade might look like? So, if we just find one for everyone. Yeah, sure. So. Um, trading the bear market is the same as trading the bull market, just the opposite way. Now, remember that we're following trends when we trade, when we're forming higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. This is when you want to long the market. This is when you want to huddle, right? When we're shorting, uh, we're shorting the market, we're looking for downtrends, right? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Now, the whole market is kind of bearish right now. But if we look here, we are, for, we are in a bearish trend. We got that low, lower low, lower high, low, lower high, lower low. So we are in a bearish trend. Um, right now, price is pulling back up. And what I want to do is I want to catch the next drop. So in this case, this is our resistance level, so our, our resistance level, which was support previously. Um, and we can also use FIBS to get a confirmation of how low price might go. Now, um, if we look here, if we go from the highest point to the lowest point, price, price is pulling back to the 50% area. And if we look left, that's where resistant, uh, resistance is as well. Okay, so there's higher probabilities that price will reach this level, stay there for a bit, and then drop back down lower. So the more probabilities you have, the uh, sorry, the more confirmations you have, the higher the probabilities. Um, if we turn this around, it pretty much looks like a breakout. Breakout, retest, catch the next drop, right? So that's what we're looking for here. Still, got to, still want to wait for confirmations like bear, um, bearish uh, candles, like a bearish hammer or a, a bearish engulfing. Um, but this is a trade that I would, I would, I would look for when I'm when I'm looking for short positions. Yeah, perfect. So if we just calculate um, the risk to reward and what an actual trade is, and then I will enter that into finance. So you go here to short position, and you're opening entering it here, and stop loss. And we want 2%. Now, if we go and enter this into Binance. So I'll just take you back to the Binance homepage really quickly. 
So here's your landing page. And usually if we were to sh um, do just like spot trading, we would go here to trade and you could use each anyone that you wanted. Now, if you want to trade leverage, you can choose to trade um, coins on leverage. So if you want to keep accumulating these coins. Now, if you want to do that while the market is um, bearish, that's up to you. Or if you want to accumulate something like USDT, um, you can trade that. And that's what most people I know do. So I get your CT in my futures wallet and that's what I choose to trade with against the coin. So for example here, if we go to this, I'll go trade. And this is it here. So one thing you must make sure you do is make sure this is isolated. Often it automatically is in cross. So always choose isolated. There's a lot more risk with cross. And then here is where you can choose your leverage. Now, the higher leverage, the higher the risk and the closer your liquidation price is to your entry price. So you can get the higher leverage, you can get liquidated really, really quickly. So I often only stick to like a 5% leverage or something really low just because I don't want to get um, liquidated. Now, the reason you don't want to hit liquidation is because this is the point where Binance will automatically close your position and you'll have to give back everything you put into that trade plus an extra fee on top. And this is because Binance doesn't want to risk too much and doesn't want you to be losing so much money that you can't pay it back. So five times leverage. And then here is your entry price um, size. So we use 1% risk. So when we're taking profits, we always aim for previous structure. We've got our take profit stop loss entry price is moving. So we'll just quickly change this. Let's go five to one percent then and sell short because we're shorting. And that trade has entered. So down here you'll see your trade playing out. Entry price is what we entered, mark price is current price and liquidation price. That's what I was talking about before. This is where you find out what your liquidation price is. Now, if you want to edit your stop loss and take profit, you can do that here with this little thing here. And you could edit your, your um, take profit or stop loss. So what do we say? 729893. And you can see here this calculated what our take profit, um, our profit would be. So 245 USDT. And if it was to hit our stop loss, it would be um, a dollar fifteen, we would lose, and you can adjust, just adjust this here. So if you want to adjust your stop loss or your take profit as the trade's playing out, you can do that here. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that made sense. That's just what we use as traders to be profitable when the market is going down, because we don't necessarily know when it's going to turn around. And the bear market, the overall bear market, this is just maybe just a short term bear period it might be the complete bear market but it is inevitable so if you are involved in crypto you should learn to trade so that you don't have to hold a losing position for five years or however long the bear market might be so if you want to connect with joel or myself um joel how can they find you you can find me on facebook as joel fernandez or you can follow me on my crypto page crypto analysis community uh, we're always sharing trading content we are always posting videos and we host zoom calls every week and yeah, you can find me Trade Moon on Instagram or on YouTube. And yeah, we can help get you connected with trading. Thanks. Thanks, guys. See ya.